This is my review of the Coleman North Star Propane Lantern with Case. Uh, I'm about to go on a couple of camping trips coming up and I decided it was time to buy a new lantern. I've been using the same ancient Coleman lantern for decades. I've replaced the globe, I've replaced the mantles a hundred times. And after the last globe broke, I decided I was going to upgrade and I really liked the looks of this one. So I picked it up uh, off of Amazon and uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so I'll show you kind of what we're looking at and some of the features and, and, and even one of the very common complaints that other people who've bought it seem to have. Uh, I really like this hard shell case. It folds open uh, very conveniently and you can access the lantern. Uh, it comes with this uh, this collapsible plastic base. These little feet fold out. Or of course, like every lantern, you can hang it from something by the bail handle. So let me move the case out of the way. You can see here, it's very durable, you know, thick walled plastic. I don't imagine anything's going to be able to damage the lantern when it's inside of this thing. Base, these feet just sort of fold out like this, and there you have it. Your propane tank sits right in the middle there, and that's your base. I personally tend to uh, usually hang this, hang my lanterns from the, the bail handle. I've got um, uh, various stands and, and, and things that it just works better for me to hang it and have it off the table and out of the way. But anyway, one of the things I liked the best about the look of this lantern is this metal guard. It's going to protect the globe from um, not everything, but uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of things that could bump into it or smack into it. Uh, maybe even um, shield it if I dropped it. I sure hope I don't do that though. Um, one thing that I found unique about this lantern, and I hadn't actually seen this before, is that it only uses one mantle, but it's this uh, accordion style mantle. Uh, it's the Coleman number 95 mantle, and it actually attaches at the top and the bottom. Uh, so I'll, I'll take this thing apart and, and give you a better look at it. Uh, but the uh, first thing I want to talk about before I take this thing all apart is what seems to be the number one complaint uh, in online reviews about this lantern. Everyone who has a problem with it said, lantern looks great, it's exactly what I wanted, but it was defective, it came broken. And the thing that they all seem to be talking about is this screw that everything is kind of held together by. You have this little nut, forgot I have to take the handle off before I can remove all the pieces. This whole top piece comes off and this screw is attached to the, this top metal piece here. And what a lot of people complained about is that this screw was not attached. It was broken off and it was just sort of uh, rattling around inside of this hollow metal piece. Some people were able to fish it out of there and kind of anchor it back in place with various uh, DIY methods, but uh, I was really happy to see that the one I got seems to be nicely welded in place. Uh, now, I'll, uh, in the Amazon comments specifically, there was mention in more recent reviews that uh, Coleman seems to have addressed this common defect and fixed it. So, uh, you know, I have I had good luck. Mine worked fine. So uh, maybe they did address it and fix it. The, the newer inventory perhaps doesn't have the risk of that defect. So I hope that's the case. 
So you can see how this thing comes apart. Actually, I should have taken the globe out first. The globe comes out, then the metal cage comes out, and it all just sort of sits, sits freely in place until you put the lid on and screw it down. Now something that you need to notice is that there's holes in the side of this cap piece and they need to line up with these loops in the metal cage. And that way, if I can get this thing lined up, no, maybe I can't. Oh, it's sit just right. Once that's in just right and you screw it in place, the bail handle uh, attaches in through those holes and you're not just lifting the lantern up by the weight of this cap, you're also using these little loops. I'm not sure why these aren't lining up. Of course it's not going to act the way I need it to while I'm shooting a video. But let me take this back off and show a closer uh, shot of the, the mantle here. Now, I'm not going to remove the mantle because I don't want to try. I don't want to risk damaging it. But it came with one mantle, and I bought a couple of replacements just in case because there's nothing worse than being out in the middle of the woods and not having something that you need if something goes wrong. So it's just it's very simple. It, all you do is uh, sort of gently pull the the, the sides or the, the ends of the mantle up over the, the ends. There's little grooves in it where the, the wire kind of sits. Give the wire a couple of twists and it's not going to go anywhere. It seems really loose and floppy right now, but as soon as you light it for the first time, that's going to kind of shrink up and be just the way it needs to be. Uh, another thing I really like about this lantern is that it's got this uh, automatic ignition sparker. My old lantern that I had forever, I had to stick a match or a lighter pretty much right into the globe and then get the heck out of the way as soon as it catches and shoots a fireball out at me. This one has basically a, like, a, uh, like a barbecue igniter on it. I don't know if it'll show up on this camera, but right here is where the spark will come out. probably too tight. Oh, there we go. When there's gas flowing in there, that'll light it up just nicely. And then, of course, here's the, uh, the control knob that lets you adjust how bright you want it. Now, according to the product details on the website, uh, this lantern can last from between four and nine hours, depending on how bright you have it. Uh, I probably will keep it. Mm. I'm pretty much the brightest setting uh, most of the time because I use the lantern uh, quite a bit to illuminate uh, what, what, I, what I would call the kitchen area. Uh, so I'm going to put this thing back together and, um, and fire it up for the first time. And while I'm doing that, I'll mention that the uh, product description also it says that this thing puts out 1500 lumens. Uh, that doesn't mean a lot to me because I don't know how many lumens my old lantern put out, but in the spirit of a thorough review, I figured I would mention uh, maybe any relevant specs. Just, there we go. I think that seems about right. Just got to make sure these holes are lined up. There we go, that's not bad. This is a heavy duty stainless steel looking uh, nut here that goes on top. I tighten that down, maybe make sure my holes are still lined up. Don't want to over tighten it. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good.
trying to do this one handed, of course, without having this set down on the table. Maybe that's what I need to do is set it on the table. Oh, there we go. Looks like we're in good shape. Okay. Now, as with most propane appliances, it's not a good idea to use these indoors. So I'm going to attach this to the propane tank and then just step outside and light the thing up. Well, I brought it out into the garage and I'm going to get it started and then I can turn the garage light off so you can get kind of an idea of how bright it is. Fortunately, it's, it's kind of dark in this garage even with the ceiling lights on. But uh, let's just see what happens here. So all I really have to do is turn this dial and click it. Now you can see, oh, there's a lot of smoke and crap coming out of this right now while it kind of initially burns up that mantle. Let me see if I can put that back up here. Just give that a minute to do its thing. Now if this does what most lanterns do, it'll slowly sort of burn its way down that mantle until the whole thing is as bright as the top. I'm not sure if if you can make that out in the camera but it's very bright right at the top maybe the top third and then it's um, pretty well uh, unilluminated from there down I hope that's not an indication of a faulty mantle if there's any holes in it or anything so far it looks pretty well intact. There we go, it's starting to work its way down. I know that the settings on these cameras make it so what the camera sees isn't the same as what the naked eye sees, so it's probably impossible to tell that this garage is pretty illuminated but the camera's just gonna show the, the brightness of the lantern, I guess, and kinda kill everything else in the picture. Um, so I'll, I'll possibly do a follow-up when I'm in the woods and get a better idea of the, the light that this thing casts around. Maybe if I move the camera around a little bit, you can see some other things. Dang, yeah. I guess that's a little better once I point it away from the actual globe of this thing. And you can see that uh, the back of my garage door is perfectly illuminated. And I've just got this thing sitting up on the, the bed cover of my truck. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's at least as bright as the lantern that I'm retiring and probably brighter once it, that mantle really uh, kind of finishes breaking in but it's pretty bright um, I, I'm liking it and I really like the uh, the hardcover case the, I guess the true test will be once I take it to the woods and you know get the full experience but um, if it stays in good a shape as it is right now uh, I don't have any problems I don't foresee any issues um, the only thing I could maybe predict is if it's like every barbecue I've ever had, that auto sparker might stop working at some point and I'm going to be back to using a match or something. But, you know, I've got a couple of small Coleman heaters and years and years later the little sparker thing is still working just fine. So, I'll, I'll be optimistic. So that's about it. I guess I'll end it here. Uh... If you have any experience with this particular lantern, if you received one uh, that had that broken part or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Other than that, uh, I'll see you next time.